Green Digest. And there's an article here. Shalom, Yasharala. Peace, Israel. All uh, praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Welcome to another update of the Mark of the Beast, which is the RFID chip. Another update. I'm on the website here, scdigest.com, Supply Chain Digest. And there's an article here. It says RFID, AIDC, and IOT News Roundup for April 24th, 2018. RFID is Radio Frequency Identification. AIDC is Automatic Identification and Data Capture. And IOT is Internet of Things. So this is the news they have for April 24th, 2018. Very recent. Embedded RFID in humans for payments? How about RFID on your teeth for calorie and other tracking? Internet of Things security. Does anyone care? Which no one cares. The only people that care are the elect of Israel. Everyone else doesn't. Once again, this is dated April 24th, 2018. Below are SC Digest picks for the top stories this week on RFID, automatic data collection, and IoT, which is Internet of Things. Is embedded RFID for payments coming soon? And we know the answer to that, those of us in his knowledge, in his truth. We've written many times about the many trend of some individuals having RFID chips implanted in their hands that enable them to control a variety of devices, a variety of devices, such as opening garage doors or turning on computers with a wave of, of an arm. A handful of businesses have also offered the chip option to employees to enable them to enter the building or pay for lunch or to use the copy machine. All right, and they have an example for you there. You can look at that on your own. Now, some companies are pushing the idea of using the RFID implants for wireless payments without need of a phone. Proponents of the chips argue that implants could drive the future of payments and other smart functions and other smart options or, or uh, functions and that they create conveniences for those who are willing to embrace the technology, said a, a recent article, said a recent article on the paymentssource.com website, adding, however, that critics question the ethical ramifications of offering chips in the workplace. And they raise questions about whether today's chips provide enough of a compelling use case to justify their physical invasiveness. And that's why the elite, they're going to perfect that chip so more people will take it. They're going to give it more applications. The RFID chips are the size of a grain of rice and are usually implanted in fleshy part of the skin between the thumb and forefinger. The chips use near field communication, NFC technology. The banking industry is, is interested. Why? Because if the approach takes off, it will fulfill a long time desire of the payments industry to shift habits from don't leave home without it to you can't leave home without it because <laughs> it's going to be permanent. But don't expect widespread adoption anytime soon, the article says. Well, that's why they're going to just force it on you. OK, it's not going to be an option. For widespread adoption to happen, one expert says consumers will need a more compelling reason than just convenience for paying at a store or restaurant with their hands. Consumers will need multi-purpose chips, multi-purpose chips that allow them to do something new and different that they can't do now without a chip, such as improving their vision. And that's why that chip is going to be the end-all, be-all 
they're going to have every application fathomable on that chip. All right. That's why they have a term that's called the Internet of Things. You're going to be connected to the Internet by way of that chip. That way you don't need a phone. That's how they want to have it. Not saying that, they're, that uh, they're going to get that far, but that's what they want to do. That's what they want to do with it. They're going to be chips that basically put your smartphone in your brain. You see that? See, don't take my word for it. That's what they want to do. Let me read that again. They're, they're are going, they are going, or, or they, they are going, you know, they, they're saying it wrong here. There are going to be chips that basically put your smartphone in your brain so you can access a slew of functions and capabilities and where the value proposition is strong, says Rick Aglespie, president of the market research and consulting firm AV Payments Group. Okay, and that's the point on that. SC Digest says, we're in no hurry for that breakthrough. Right. Well, it's prophecy and it's coming soon. And they have another article here. You can read that on your own. But you see the point. You see the main point of this. Embedded RFID chips in humans for payments. So with that, let me end it off with this scripture. Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, and he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Don't take that chip. If you take that chip, you're going to die in that nuclear destruction.